So let's do another easy example. We're going to do an example with pulleys and belt. So let's say that we've got a, a, a small pulley. It's connected to a bigger pulley right here. And, and so uh, I'm going to say this is some radius R1. And I'm going to say that this radius here is R2A. Uh, and, and, and the belt is rotating here, is, is moving. So as, as R1 rotates omega-1, that makes this other pulley rotate at omega-2. And then I'm going to say there's a small pulley that's connected to R2A, and, and it has radius R2B. And there's a, a belt that goes around another pulley down here. And this pulley has radius R3, and it rotates with some omega-3. And so we're going to say this belt is actually moving with some velocity VA, and this belt over here is moving at some velocity VB. Okay, so I'm going to tell you now that Omega-1 is 500 RPM. Okay. And I'm going to tell you that R1 uh, is going to be 2.25 inches. R2A is going to be 8.25 inches. R2B is going to be uh, 1.45 inches, and R3 is going to be 6.91 inches. Okay, and so what I want to know is what is what would be the uh, angular rotational rates for those two pulleys. Okay. First thing we do is we're going to look at the very first one. Okay, right there. And we know this is moving some velocity VA. We know that it's connected right here. So the speed here is going to be omega 1 R1. The speed over here is going to be equal to omega two, uh, uh, omega two times r two a. Well, those are equal to each other because it's the same belt between the two. So that means omega two is going to be r one divided by r two a times omega one, and so that's going to be equal to uh, two point two five inches divided by 8.25 inches times 500 RPM. Now notice we've got units all squirrely, but that's okay because they all cancel. And so the answer is going to come out in RPM. So omega-2 is going to be 136 RPM. Okay, now I want to look at the other case. So I had this, but I had, uh, 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 I had the second pulley but I also had this other pulley connected to it right here, and the other pulley was connected to it uh, by a belt, and so I know that this is moving at some VB. Now, right up here, then the velocity of uh, VB is going to be equal to R2B times omega-2. Down here, then uh, VB is going to be equal to R3 times omega-3. So we need to know that these two are equal. R2B omega 2 equals R3 omega 3. So omega 3 equals R2B divided by R3 divided by omega 2. So omega 3 is going to be equal to 1.45 inches divided by 6.91 inches times the 136 RPM, and so that means that's going to give me a final answer of 28.6 RPM. Okay, so 
What we had here was small pulley connecting to a big pulley. So, so th this was the one being driven. So the bigger pulley is going smaller, but it's got connected to it a small pulley, which goes to another big pulley. So that one goes even slower. And so, so this is a nested sort of pulley system. Now, if you want to see something like this, just look under the hood of your car. And so, so you see exactly this sort of thing happening in, in which you've got the, the uh, engine cam or the, 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 uh, the crankshaft going at some speed and then it's connected to the cam. And so, so if, if, if those two diameters aren't the same, then that means one can go a different speed than the other. And then you can also connect that to, to other pulleys and they, the different pulleys can be different speeds. Uh, rather it can be different uh can be different diameters which means they're going to be going different speeds and so that way you can have the engine going one speed and all the things connected to it be going different speeds it's not just pulleys you can do the same thing with the gears so you have a gear right here and the gear is connected to the teeth of a much larger gear forgive my lack of artistic abilities and so that means that 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 in order to keep the teeth from shearing off, the velocity of each one has to be the same. So R1 omega 1 has to equal R2 omega 2. And so that means that the bigger one is going is rotating slower than the faster one. So this, this would be your, how gears work. And so, so this, this again, gearing works in this sort of fashion. So this is how transmissions work. So, so this, 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 again, this basic concept of rotational kinematics is something that you see all over the place.